the client came to us with the problem, which was to bypass a manhole that was in pretty imminent uh, danger of collapse due to H2S gas. This bypass is on the incoming side of a functioning treatment plant. The plant doesn't stop, the sewer doesn't stop, and it's raw effluent, and there's quite a lot of it. So the design of the system, where our pipeline goes, where our pumps go, how we interact ourselves when maintaining the system, and just the nature of sewer bypassing in itself, everything is critical. No matter how big or small a sewer bypass is, it's, it's critical when you're dealing with the potential of, of spilling sewer on the ground. The biggest challenge was there was no margin for error. There's obviously a lot of EPA regulations down here at, at the treatment plant, and because there's licenses associated with running the treatment plant, there was made very clear to us that there was no option for any spills. It is a very successful operation. The whole process was very smooth. This is abnormal for us. We don't normally do it. So don't get me wrong, there was some hesitation, but Pete and the team at MPE developed a really thorough plan. The procedure was laid out. All the kit, the team maintains it, they operate it. It's monitored 24 seven. That gave us confidence that we didn't have to stress about this particular project. So having telemetry on our pumps and our equipment to know that they are doing their job is, is critical. If we can't dial into it and make sure that, yep, it's doing what it should be doing, you know, it's how we're going to deliver a good service to the client. You know, a lot of the times, if there is something going wrong with the equipment, because machines break down, that's just the nature of the beast, we can jump into that equipment, slow it down, put it into limp mode, till we can mobilise a technician to get out to it and, uh, and rectify the issue. MPA was actually fantastic to work with. I really appreciated the speed and efficiency they were able to deliver the project and their constant attentive nature to making sure that their system is faultless. 100%. Um, I don't think I'd even bother looking at anybody else now. So the confidence we've got with MPE and the way they are able to not only set, set it up, um, but their ongoing maintenance, their uh, monitoring, their, uh, the support they provide to make us feel confident that no matter what was going to happen, they had uh, contingency plans in place. Um, they demonstrated that at times when we got challenged with, with certain events and things that went on, they were able to respond well, so they're yeah, 100% confident. The peak flows of the day uh, will regularly get up to six, 700 litres per second. The system's design capacity is 2,400 litres per second. If we switch on all these pumps at once, you know, we, can, we can move some sewer through the line. I'd hesitate to think the sheer volume of sewer that's gone through this system. Uh, but quite regularly, we've had it up at around 1,000 litres per second um, and more in, in severe wet weather events. I would like to thank the entire you know, the pump operations team, uh, you know, the bypass monitoring crew um, from NPE. Uh, you know, they've done a great job over the last six and a half months. So on behalf of Melbourne Water, I would like to thank uh, you know, the pump operations team, the bypass crew, and in particular Peter Sherwood, who has been the brains behind this system. So thank you and look forward to working with you again in future. This is what they do, and they do it well. And they're very knowledgeable, a lot of expertise, a lot of history. They get excited about pumps and valves and bypass arrangements. So, no, they've done uh, extremely well.